Good day Pinoy Clixers and Mixers! Welcome back to the channel! And for this video, we are continuing our Build-A-Figure Chod Wave miniseries with Part 6, The X-Men's Chamber. Let's go! Okay, so we have here Marvel's Chamber from the X-Men. And you can see in front, okay, his action figure form. Okay, so you can probably see that chamber here has a fury mount. Okay, he has one of the, I think, sad um, backstory. Okay, when he manifested his power, it destroyed his lower jaw and his upper torso. Okay, and the fire... That's why it's called chamber. It's a furnace, okay, but of psionic energy, if I'm not mistaken, okay, that just keeps on flowing and flowing, and he cannot uh, seem to control it as much as he want. And again, he cannot even turn it off, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so that makes his appearance, of course, uh, startling even for uh, co-mutants. Okay, so anyway. So this is from the Marvel Legends Build a Figure Chod series. Okay, and we are already in the last part, the six out of six. Uh, if you want to look at the other videos, the first five, you can visit the channel. And this particular one should contain the left arm of Chod. Okay. On the other side, we see an illustration of Chamber okay so yeah um cooking up an energy psionic blast and then at the back side we see him post and it should contain alternative hands as well aside from that particular left hand of chod left arm okay so but before we get into unboxing chamber we also, of course, have to look at some Heroclix figures of Chamber. And we have three of them. The first one is the first release. First appearance of Chamber as a Heroclix character. Generation X, Mutant, Psychic, and Teen are the keywords. 45 point value and no special powers. Okay, straightforward what you see is what you get in the dial and let's take a look at his biblio okay so real name is jonathan jonathan <laughs> jono starsmore first appearance is generation x number num number one 1994 so he is a founding member of generation x but i think now he is a bona fide x-men teacher so background, when Jono Starsmore's mutant powers literally exploded out of him, they destroyed the lower half of his face and his chest, leaving the area a mass of psionic energy. He has since learned how to manipulate the energy to fire concussive blasts or to make objects explode. Occasionally, unaffected by attacks, Chamber has begun to suspect that his physical body may merely be a shell for the psionic being he might he might now truly be mm, interesting so it might be possible in the future or perhaps a second mutation that he becomes a pure psionic being okay so and that might that might be cooler okay that might look very cool in hero clicks form so perhaps in the future there will be a prime version of this character with the full psionic mode on. Okay? And it would be cool if he can turn back and forth between regular and psionic form. The second time we saw Chamber is in the Saber School set. So you can see a little bit more, more control of the flames or psionic energy. Putting it in his hands now. Okay, I like this particular sculpt. Okay, with the translucent effects. So set number 28, Generation X, New Mutants and X-Men Keywords, 
Real name is Jonathan Starsmore. A couple of traits. The first one is here's to pacifism. Shape change. Chamber can't attack unless a friendly character was attacked since your last turn or he is the only character on your force. So he wouldn't initiate attack. He, he just retaliates. And then a second trait. My body is just a shell for psionic energy. When chamber is KO'd by an opponent's attack, after resolutions, deal 1 penetrating damage to each character within 3 squares. So, uh, he before he is KO'd, he explodes and again, uh, deal 1 penetrating damage to each character within 3. Okay, last salvo for chamber. Okay, I wonder, I'm not so familiar with this character's uh, background, okay, but that energy might be... He might actually be a portal as well of psionic energy. So poison and enhancement, a great support piece for 35 points. So we can see here, okay, an action figure of chamber. Ooh, I would have loved it if we got the version with him wearing a scarf okay, to turn off the psionic energy. And the last chamber we're going to look at is, oh, rather, sorry, sorry. I think I swapped the cards. <laughs> so this is the latest character of chamber from the House of X set, sorry. Okay, so I, I swapped it because again, you can see the skull is almost the same. Okay, color scheme just changed. And the scale is also a bit bigger for newer characters. So we have... Small, medium, and large. Okay, so sorry for that. The one we looked at was the House of X figure. So we're looking at the Savior School figure. Okay. So Generation X and X-Men uh, keywords. Uh, two traits as well. Generation X shared trait is power. Move up to five squares, then make a close attack. That's basically a charge. And then a living psionic furnace is the second trait, poison. When he uses it, he deals penetrating damage to opposing characters of less points. Okay, he's a rare for the set. Oops, sorry. Okay, and he also has that enhancement as well. So the modern one is much better cost, cost effective. Okay, and with stealth, so he can really... Um, be on the defensive at the back row just to enhance the rage attackers and if somebody gets close then you can always poison him and attack with 11 attack okay so got the x-men team ability as well so definitely the modern one is an improvement from its previous iteration okay let's go and look at the Marvel Legends figure. We've been lucky so far, not experiencing any quality control issues. Okay. It's a bit risky because this box don't, doesn't have a window anymore, so you don't see what you're getting inside. Okay. And for build a figure waves, that can be a bit stressful if you're missing a buffed part or if the buffed part is incorrect so let's see it should be a left arm oops is this left yeah this is a left arm so we have a sigh of relief now and then we have the alternate arms hands rather <laughs> and then the figure himself Take him out. Okay. Ooh. Take a look at that detail in the face. You can see some marks. Okay. Indicating how powerful the psionic energy is. 
Okay. That limits his head movement though. Okay. But other than that, I think the scope is great. Jacket also is nice. Oh, this is the closest figure. So we'll just pose him like this. We have to change the hands to alternate hands for that pose. I would have loved it more if they added a hand effect okay. for the psionic wave. Okay, let's see. Let's bend the arms a little. Okay, he seems to have a long hand. Is it just me or does he really have a long hand? There you go. It should be a little tilted down. Okay, so it's it's like he's screaming. Ah! Yeah. Okay, so that's chamber. I love it. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. We are done with part six. And you know what that means. The next video will be the build a figure chart. See you then. Bye-bye.